So I was just laid off. You think that after working in tech for over seven years, you would hope it wouldn't happen to you. Despite having the much experience that I have right now, I still lost my job. But I'll tell you this, it is probably one of the better things to happen to me in my life. The first time I was laid off was in 2019, my fourth year in tech, which was the beginning of the pandemic. I'm gonna tell you, it was surprising because we were often told that we wouldn't lose our jobs, that no one would be laid off, but I was laid off anyway. Now, fast forward over three and a half years, it happened again. Well, bummer, dude. So an important question might be, what did I learn from being laid off the second time around? You will never receive a warning sign. The amount of times that I've been told at all of my jobs that we will let you know way in advance if a layoff is coming, we'll let you know way in advance if we're not happy with your performance, we'll put you on PIP and you name it, it has never happened to me. That's including all the other friends I have that work in tech who has worked at these other companies, you never receive a warning sign. So do not wait for that. Number three, what I learned from this, having a three to six month savings is 100 million percent worth it, okay? Being laid off isn't as bad as you think if you are prepared for it. I have enough savings where if I had zero income coming from YouTube, I can survive for a while. But because I have income from YouTube, I can last for a very long time. Which brings me to number three, make sure that you do not depend on one source of income. I generally don't understand how People live off one source of income. I know it's difficult working on a side hustle outside of your nine to five tech job, especially if you work in tech, because if you're working outside of your nine to five, it's harder to make time to work in a side hustle, but it has to be done. When you're working on a side hustle, it does not mean that you need to put in six hours on top of your nine to five job every single night towards it. Just put in a little bit effort. What have I been doing? On YouTube over the last seven years, I've been putting a little time here and there on YouTube. Yeah, it's slowed down since joining this last particular startup. But before that, I put in hours of effort onto YouTube every single week. And guess what? Over seven years, it accumulated a following, a community, and the results I'm still making more from YouTube than I do in tech. So I'm totally fine. All right, hold up, hold up, y'all. As y'all know, I've been laid off and I no longer have a job. So I wanna thank today's sponsor, Coding Dojo, for paying my rent this month. Let's get into it. So I recently joined a class at Coding Dojo, which is a coding bootcamp committed to changing lives through programming. Unlike many coding bootcamps, Coding Dojo offers a three-stack curriculum, meaning that you will learn three different full stacks, making you one of the more versatile developers entering the marketplace. The hands-on activities and the real-world projects honestly kept me on my toes and were very versatile and felt very effective. Now, one of the things that stood out to me were their career services. They guide you in building a solid project portfolio, prepping you for job interviews, networking, which is always invaluable, by the way. Now, check this out. Coding Dojo is now celebrating their 10 year anniversary. They now have a decade of experience in tech education. Over these 10 years, Coding Dojo has helped over 13,000 students transition into rewarding tech careers. Their immersive and hands-on approach has transformed countless individuals into skilled developers ready to tackle real-world tech challenges. So go ahead and check out the link in the description below to learn more about their programs and see how Coding Dojo could catapult your career in tech. Anyway, let's get back into the video. Now, let me go to my next topic, which is I think number four, number five, whatever. I will never make the same mistake again about joining a company. What do I mean by this? When I joined my last company, the only reason I joined that company was for the money. It wasn't because I believed in the product. It wasn't because I particularly liked the company. It wasn't because I particularly liked the culture. The culture was great and enjoyed working there, but I only joined for the money. I had two offers, right? Two offers. I had two offers at the time before I joined If I really had to look back, looking back over the last two years, I really wanted to join the other company, right? So here's the last company that laid me off. It was the other company that I wanted to work for. I joined this last job only for the money, even though I knew I'd like working at the other company. The reason I didn't join the other company was because it paid only $10,000 or less. I sacrificed my happiness. I sacrificed work-life balance only to make $10,000 or more. What were the pay differences between these companies? $190,000 and $200,000 base salary per year. I only joined 
because I wanted to hit that mark of $200,000, $200, which is my biggest regret. So now when I look for another job, as I'm casually interviewing, I don't need a job. Like I can live off YouTube, but I'm casually interviewing right here and there. I'm looking for that next role. But now when if I join that next company, it's not because of the money. Money is no longer it's going to entice me. Of course, I want to receive what I think I deserve in, rega in regards to income. But now when I join a company, it's because I genuinely want to join a company. I genuinely enjoy the technology or I will genuinely enjoy learning that technology. And last but not least, I believe that that company can do well if it's a startup or if it's a big company, you name it. That's number one. Do not make the mistake I made. Do not make the mistake that I made. Last but not least, what am I doing here on out? As I told you, I'm interviewing. I'm interviewing, right? But am I in need of a job right away? No, because I have savings, right? Am I in need of a job ASAP? No, because I have my YouTube income. I really want to join a company that I would enjoy working at. And that is it. Now, before I find that company, I'm working my side hustle. I'm working on tutorials. I'm working on other products that I hope will bring you more value, right? And if y'all want to help me with this, I would honestly, generally, Thank you if y'all can subscribe to my newsletter, which I put in the link in the description below. I'm coming out with some amazing HTML, CSS course, and then a JavaScript course. And the goal of these courses is to teach you how to never use a tutorial ever again. Literally, the name of the website, it's not up yet, is neverlearncodeagain.com. Neverlearncodeagain.com. I have the domains, it's just not up yet. And the goal is to teach you HTML, CSS to the point where you never need to use a tutorial again. Teach you JavaScript to the point you never need to use a tutorial again. Same thing with React, same thing with Python, you name it. That is what I'll be working on anyway. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Yes, I've been laid off, but to be honest, I've never been happier than where I am now. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.